Hi everyone. I am going to be telling you how to assemble this Rainbow Mobile today. But first, let's talk about the processes. It's really for ages, you know, two to three, up to nine or 10, or whoever's really interested in uh, making this. If you have younger kids, you can let them go to town with crayons and paint and markers. Or if you want to kind of control the process a little bit, you can give them, you know, two colors like red and orange for the top part, yellow and green for the middle, and blue and purple. And those colors will go together okay, and but it'll still kind of give you the rainbow effect. Um, and that can be paint and markers or crayons. I love to do crayons first and then paint over it with marker or with watercolor because it kind of gives it a resist. And it's lots of different processes in the in the. Uh, as you go. You can see we did washable marker and just colored it and then we went over it with water. So it kind of smears it and makes it look a little bit painted. Then, or with older kids, you can, they can paint it however they want or they can, you know, paint it in rainbow order. This is watercolor underneath and crayon. So crayon first, then watercolor. And then once that's dried, the next step is to collage. Now, if you have older kids, they can do the glue themselves and add the different pieces of collage that come with the kit. If you have younger kids and you don't wanna give them glue, then um, you can do glue dots and then have them do that one-to-one -one correspondence and put the object on the glue. And you can ask them questions about, you know, what does glue do? Um, how does it feel? Because they'll get it on their fingers a little bit and that's all part of it. And then finally, you're going to want to assemble your rainbow mobile and add the fringe. If you have an older kid, they'll totally be able to do this with me and follow along. And if you have um, a younger child, maybe six and under, then uh, you might need to help them a little bit, but really they can do a lot. It might be the knot tying that they need the most help with. This project could be done in an afternoon or it could be stretched out over days. If you have a younger child, they might not have the attention span to do all of this in one afternoon, but that's okay because younger children love to repeat things. And so if you color the outer one one day and then paint it, then they're gonna understand when you give them different colors to do it on the middle, they're gonna enjoy that process because it gives them confidence because it's something that they know how to do, but it's with different colors and so it's interesting. Or even since this one's bigger, this is one day, and then you do the two smaller ones another day. Um, another thing is that when you're collaging or coloring, you can talk about the colors, you know, well, what color is that? Or how does this feel? What's the texture like? Is it soft? Is it fuzzy? Does it make noise when you are playing with it? And also that pinching with collage when you're pi they're picking up something that's really good for their fine motor skills and then pushing things down and getting used to that sticky texture of glue really helps also. Um, so there are a lot of ways that uh, just something like this and the repetition of it could be really beneficial for a preschool child. So once you have painted your um, Rainbow Mobile and um, your child has glued on the uh, collage pieces, we're ready to add the fringe and put it all together. So really, um, you can see I've already done the top two pieces, so we're gonna do this bottom piece. First thing, um, if you are doing this yourself, is you've got just a little piece of folded cardstock in your kit. We call this a hot dog bun. All this really does is help us thread our needle through, um, thread the yarn into our weaving needle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually put the yarn inside the hot dog bun and squeeze it and put the hot dog bun through the weaving needle. That just kind of helps keep it all together because you know it's got all the little strings um, twisted together. So if I use the hot dog bun, as I like to call it, the yarn looks like a hot dog and we just put it through the eye of the needle and pull it through. 
Now, I don't like to tie a knot because really all I'm gonna be doing is going through each hole once with the color. Now you can mix up your strings or you can do them corresponding with the rainbow color. So you see how I went through the hole and I'm just gonna pull it all the way through. It comes off my needle, but that's okay. And I'm gonna pull it until the ends are even at the end. So like that, so my ends are even. And I'm gonna make a giant loop, cross over, and put those two ends through the hole I've made and pull tight. Now this is gonna become a knot and it's just gonna hold the uh, fringe in place on my mobile. So let's do that again. We're gonna do it for the purple. And I need my hot dog bun again. So I'm gonna thread it every time I add a new string. Put the yarn in the hot dog bun, squeeze it, and put it through the eye of the needle and pull it through. Again, I don't like to tie knots, but you totally could. It's just you're gonna have to take it off in just a second because I'm gonna stick it through the hole, pull all the way through, and then remember I'm gonna pull the yarn until it's equal at the end. So I'm gonna probably line up my two ends and just pull, and that makes it even. Then I'm gonna cross it over, go behind my loop, and then pull. And then I'm just gonna kinda hold it up top so that I'm pulling that knot pretty close to the hole. And I'm gonna try to get it as close as I can and then pull it tight. I don't even have to pull it that snug. I kinda like a big knot anyways. Okay, so let's do these last two strings. Okay, so once I have the strings all um, on my rainbow, I'm gonna turn everything over. Now, since it's a mobile, there's not really a back or a front, but I prefer to do it on the side that's not collaged. It's just a little bit easier to get to everything. And I'm gonna take extra string and I'm going to thread it. I don't need very much of this, so you're gonna want it to kinda be the shorter string. Pull it through. It's too long, okay. So I'm going to start at the bottom and pull my yarn all the way through. And just tie a knot. Now when I tie this knot, I'm gonna leave a little bit of a tail. Okay, then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go through the back, the front, which, you know, this is the back, I guess, and pull it through. And then what I'm gonna do is just loop behind that string and go through. So I'm gonna actually make another knot. Okay. And a little bit snug. Go in through this top string. So I'm doing it all with one string. I could cut it if I don't want this string, but um, I think it's going to be fine. And I'm going to go behind that string and over the loose string. It's wrapped around. I'm just going to pull it and make my knot. And I'm going to do that one more time and pull. Go in through the front or back, the front of my rainbow. I want to leave a little bit of space about equal from, with that one. Then go behind and through. So I'm just making another knot. And this time I'm probably going to just do a double knot because I'm going to cut it off. And just snip it like that. And I can snip this knot closer to. I just kind of left it long so it was easy to tie a knot right there. And then you can see we had some extra 
yarn and my daughters love to braid so they braided that and I just made the hole a little bit bigger with my scissors and wrapped that through and tied a knot or you could use one of these strings and tie a knot as well and that's how you make your rainbow mobile